Welcome everyone for the uh, second experiment. This is uh, with respect to uh, the electromagnetic systems what we were discussing. So here we have exercise number two that is basically assembly station. As per the uh, problem description what we have in front of us is a uh, very simple uh, assembly station. The assembly station is being actuated uh, using a single acting cylinder or a double acting cylinder. And this actuation that is you know you can see uh, to and fro movement up and down movement of this actuator should take place uh, with the pressing of two buttons simultaneously. That is two push buttons needs to be pressed and only when both are pressed together the actuation to, should take place. If any one of the push button is pressed while the other being unpressed then there should not be any actuation. So in other words what we are uh, talking about here is basically we are talking about uh, something which is uh, similar to that of an AND operation. In the AND operation as you all know when two inputs are present then only the output will be there. The two inputs in this case is the inputs that is coming from two push button switches. So let us uh, have a look at the solution for this particular problem. Okay, So here we have the solution for our experiment number two that is the assembly station. So in this again you can see two different figures. The two different figures you know uh, one is basically making use of a single acting cylinder the other one is making use of the double acting cylinder. So e either of these two can be used for the given problem description. Now let us uh, you know since in the first experiment we have already uh, dealt with the single acting cylinder. So let us not look into that let us say we are working on the double acting cylinder. So you have this double acting cylinder let us say we are controlling double acting cylinder. Now for the controlling of the double acting cylinder the pneumatic circuit diagram is as follows. So this is the pneumatic circuit diagram so the input is coming from the compressor and it is going to the air service unit the output of air service unit is you know either can be given to a manifold or directly can be given to the uh, wall. In our case you know we will be giving it to a manifold and then from manifold we will be giving it to the wall. So here the manifold is not shown but while doing the experiments we will be using the manifold. So the input is given to the wall and the, uh, by default the air will pass through this and once it passes through this obviously the cylinder the piston will be in the retracted position. So in the default wall position the cylinder will be in retracted position so because the air is flowing and it is filling up this uh, this uh, rod end uh, of the of the cylinder. The piston side is obviously exposed to the atmosphere so whatever air that is present here is exposed to the atmosphere. Now the moment I energize this 1y solenoid so energizing this 1y solenoid is basically uh, is through switches and in our case we are using two push button switches right. So let us say we are pressing two push button switches one uh, y gets energized. So this if it gets energized the wall will shift and once it shifts the position obviously the air will be sent to the, uh, the piston side and the, the rod end side will be exposed to the atmosphere right. So that is the pneumatic part of the, uh, the electro pneumatic circuit. Now let us see the electrical part of it. The electrical circuit diagram is like this. So here you can see again you have uh, 24 volts plus 24 volts at this uh, it is given to switch S1. The output of the switch S1 is given as input to S2. So in other words S1 and S2 are in series right. So both are in series. The output of S2 is given as input to the 1Y that is the solenoid and the other end of the solenoid is basically grounded right. So this is the basic uh, you know an electrical uh, circuit diagram. Now let us uh, see this you know let us uh, execute this in the electro pneumatic system. Start. Okay so uh, here uh, we are on the the mobile workstations where we are going to demonstrate to you how the how the assembly station works. So first let us uh, you know build the electrical circuit diagram on the on the board on the on the platform what we have. So here you can see the 24 volts plus 24 volts is first given to the switch S1 one three terminal. So this one three terminal so that is what I am going to do now. So 
in the electrical system here i am going to take plus 24 volts this is plus 24 volts and i am giving it to terminal 13 so this 13 is connected right and then next the output of that 13 uh, that is you know the 14 so this is my switch s1 so the output of 14 is given as input to s2 right so let me say this is s1 this is s2 that is what i have configured so the output of this is given as input to the s2 so now the 14 is given to the solenoid right so that is this i am giving it to the solenoid 14 and then from the other end of the solenoid is basically grounded so i am just grounding it so this is the simple circuit diagram uh, electrical circuit diagram what we have now as i told you for this experiment we will be using double acting cylinder so here you can see this is basically a double acting cylinder so you have these two ports now uh, you know these two things you know these are the sensors actually this is basically used for measuring the uh, piston uh, the position of the piston these are known as reed sensors so for this experiment we we will not make use of this this is just we have just fitted this but this is a normal double acting cylinder the first thing that we need to do is basically ensure that our pneumatic system is off right so this is basically off position right now and uh, I'm just going to take the output from the manifold and this is given as input to port 1 then I'll take the output of the 5 by 2 wall so 4 is given from port 4 I'll be giving you input to this this end and from 2 I'll be just connecting to the port 2 of the wall so this completes the pneumatic circuit so now you can just switch it on and now uh, this is basically waiting for the input which will be coming from the switch S1 and S2 so as per our problem description when I press both the buttons together then only the cylinder should actuate right so this is my S1 this is my S2 so I'm just going to press both at the same time right you can see now this is extended now if I release any one of the buttons obviously the piston will return back now I'll show it to you again so let us say I'm just pressing S1 there is no action S2 there is no action but when simultaneously pressed then only there is output right. so this is assembly station exercise number two